What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Dissy Crea, coming with you with another episode of Hanging Heavy, where the topics can get as heavy as the host. So, I haven't really brought up music in a while, so, whoo, there's some fire being spread, and I'm not talking about California burning to a crisp. In the hip-hop world, everyone holds up Eminem as the rap god. Well, I'm here to tell you folks, Machine Gun Kelly released The Rap Devil. And goddamn, this shit is hot. The last time there was a feud making this kind of ripples was a couple years ago, Meek Mills came after Drake and got bodied. Eminem released a surprise album called Kamikaze and in some songs he went after a laundry list of people he's been taking notes on. Trash talking him and just his opinion on how the rap game has gone. And the way he sounded on that album Kamikaze sounds like Shady's back back again he's been taking notes oh shit he put some people in their place and still only one person has responded and that one person is machinery gunner Kelly Clarkson aka machine gun Kelly aka MGK A.K.A. That Wild Boy. (sighs) And if you're one of the few people that know about him, he's a decent rapper. He's got a rapid fire delivery. So, I mean, he lives up to the name on most tracks. Uh, Apparently, a couple years back in uh, 2012, he made a comment about uh, Eminem's daughter, Haley. You never never talk about about Eminem's daughter. daughter. Well, listen to Rap Devil and let me know what you think. I know, he knows, everybody knows he can't stand toe-to-toe with Eminem lyrically. But fuck, the fact that he snapped back with a clap back. Steel balls. I mean, his career really isn't the biggest. If you didn't know who he was before this, then this helps that cause. Because even if Eminem decides to incinerate this cat, MGK wins. He gets all the publicity, and he's known for swinging with Eminem. This makes the Drake beef with Meek Mills look like fucking child's play. (sighs) He threw some bombs. Some of it, or most of it, was already already out there. Now it's just the waiting game to see if Eminem snaps back or takes the L. And uh, the time keeps ticking on. It, he still hasn't responded. And it's already been a couple days. Machine Gun Kelly responded uh, after uh, Eminem released that diss about fucking basically every rapper now he took three days and released rap devil Devil, 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 Devil. I think it's been three or maybe more days now Eminem we're still waiting he can't lose either way he's everyone's top fucking five favorite rapper if not the greatest rapper of all time so this is just him adding fuel to the weak ass dumpster fire that is the rap game I'm not the biggest hip-hop fan, but this was too juicy not to bring up, and it contains the legend Eminem. I just wanted to update. Today, Friday, the 7th of September, 2018, the rapper Mac Miller was found dead. Jeez, another white rapper dead from... Overdose. You know, I had this realization. When I grew up, 
black rappers died from gang violence or beefs and some even AIDS. Easy. 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 But all these white rappers that have died, died from being junkies. They ain't no rock stars. Get the fuck out of here with your bitch ass. Sorry, I just had to toss that in. So, uh, I grew up being a metalhead, but as I got older, I don't know, like, I guess maturing tastes changed. I've fallen out of love with metal. But besides that, music in general, it's just become so bland and oversaturated. It's hard to find a new band to fall in love with. The last time I can remember that happening to me was the band Deaf Heaven. Now, I know they aren't everybody's cup of tea, but for some reason they struck a chord with me. Don't know how or why, but their album Sunbather stuck with me for a good while. If you ever get a chance, I highly recommend that album. But make sure to listen to it in the dark with either a good stereo or with some headphones. Because um, there's a lot of subtleties that get lost if you're not really paying close attention. Just sit back or lay down, preferably with the lights off so I can go and molest you. Um, or sit back and close your eyes. Take a breather and just bask in the glory of tight musicianship and great song construction. Most bands now just want to show off how amazing they can play. And uh, I guess that's cool and all, but it loses that intimate connection that I feel is really missing in music now. It's hard to see that clearly until you can get lost in the mix. I, uh, I recently saw the movie Upgrade, and uh, I gotta say... Pretty solid fucking movie. I was thoroughly entertained. Are you not entertained? I mean, it has cool cinematography and the movie score or soundtrack or whatever the fuck you want to call it is well done. I strongly recommend. Strong but firm but... Uh, uh, never mind. Sorry, I got lost in my horny. <laughs> so the first episodes uh, the the first episode of the Sons of Anarchy spin-off the Mayans MC premiered this week and I got to say I loved the world and series that developed in the Sons of Anarchy universe and this has that same feel but it's different because they're the Mayans and the Mayans are more Mexican based so it lands a lot closer to to home for me, given my lineage and also living in a populace of mostly Mexican or Hispanic dissented people. It already started off with a thick storyline. So, so far, you don't really need to know anything about the Sons of Anarchy series. So I, I would catch on to it early. fucking I was waiting for a delivery at the beginning of the week that happened to be from FedEx not a sponsor <laughs> and they have gotten to the point to where the delivery drivers are fucking complete assholes I I understand they have tons of drop offs and deliveries so I get it business wise it, it makes sense but as a customer, fuck that noise. I got two packages in that I knew were expensive enough to warrant a personal delivery and a signature. But nah, fuck it. Slap a notice of delivery sticker on it and it's all fair. It's, all, it's done. That's all it needs. And that package happened to be part of my Note 9 pre-order. 
it was free. Count it. Free. Count it. Free. A free gift. Just for getting the phone. Samsung. Not a sponsor. <laughs> Hooked me up with a free set of AKG N60 noise canceling Bluetooth headphones. Now, these are not just cheap run of the mill fucking headphones. The retail price for these suckers are a cool $300 buster. Now, I've never owned a set of noise canceling headphones, so fuck yeah, I'll take them. It was between this and 15,000 V-Bucks for Fortnite. Nah, fuck that. I love audio, so I'll take something that I'll actually use with pleasure. In fact, I'm using them right now. I'm listening to some chill ass sublime. Damn, they sound great. For free? <laughs> the last Samsung product I pre-ordered was the Note 7, and that turned out to be a fiasco of a deal. But then, too, I got a free smartwatch as a gift. Fucking Samsung hooks it up. You get what you pay for, and then some. And fuck, for how much you pay, that's how it should be done. Companies... Respect the game. And, uh... Speaking of phones, do you, do you have an iPhone 8? Does it turn off? Restart? Freeze? Or sometimes not even turn on? Was it purchased more or less any time between September 2017 and uh, March of this year? Well, if you answered yes to any of these... You might be getting fucked. Apple announced that they may have shipped out phones worth hundreds of dollars that contain a defect that was implemented during manufacture of their motherboards. I mean, I choose Apple because they make the best tech. <laughs> Wrong. But if you do happen to own a, fa a phone that fails in this criteria or falls into this criteria they're offering to fix it for you at no cost but if you have any crack or damage whatsoever that could quote unquote impede them fixing their fuck up they will fix any issue and charge you later or send it back without fixing shit for free <laughs> wow, now that's what I call customer service at its greatest. Mm -hmm. I love it. Thanks for the help, Apple. Now I see why Steve Jobs died. He didn't want to be blamed for the fall of Apple products. <laughs> wow. Sorry, that's a little harsh. So, uh, they had to quarantine a whole plane at the JFK airport that a plane was coming in from Dubai filled with uh, over 500 passengers because people began to fall ill so they swarmed on them they trying to bring that zombie virus from the desert luckily Trump said not in my America <laughs> uh, no so uh, 10 people were taken to a local hospital officially they said it was nothing serious they believed it to be influenza, a.k.a. the fucking common flu. See, China? What the fuck are you do holding out on that good shit? Bitches be getting sick. The CDC said that about 100 of the 520 people were complaining of illnesses, including cough and fever. Government sources say there's no link to terror plots and it was mostly caused by food poisoning. This is why I don't fly. I definitely need a smoke after that heavy shit if I was there. Oh, but uh, science is finding out smokers 
are much likely to develop uh, dementia. Son of a bitch. I can't enjoy fuck all. They also say that there's no good amount of alcohol. Motherfucker, I need it. I need it. Fuck it. I've accepted early death. <laughs> that means I can enjoy life and not live like a scaredy cat little bitch. So them space scientists discovered an exoplanet. And it's known as Wolf 503B. And it is twice the size of Earth. That's pretty badass. Maybe we can study it and see if it's a good suit to implement the human populace. Oh, it's only uh, 145 light years away? Fucking awesome. Uh, let me do some calculations. Um, according to my calculations, uh, it would take about 37,200 years to travel one light year if you were traveling at five miles per second. So that means it would only take uh, 5,394,000 years to get there. Yeah, I think I'm going to need some melatonin for that trip. <laughs> uh, speaking of space, uh, in recent news, a Russian space station uh, came up with some startling news because uh, there was a hole in the, the hole of the space station. And a, this hole was uh, temporarily plugged by a Russian cosmonaut. He put his thumb. Whoa. That's a sexy word, cosmonaut. Anyway, uh, he plugged the hole, like the little boy put his thumb in the dike, in the dam, or whatever the fuck that stupid story is. While they were able to uh, find a long-term uh, repair and uh, after investigation they find out it, it turns to possible sabotage that this hole was possibly drilled ooh that motherfucker's gonna die yes science a video game bitch so rockstar is teasing its big fat tits all over our faces like a stripper waiting for that dollar this time with Red Dead Redemption 2 they're revealing some characters will meet along the way this game is supposed to take place before Red Dead Redemption don't know why they didn't call it a prequel but whatever that's not the juice we're trying to squeeze it's still set to release October 26 this year. Fuck. I loved the first game. Red Dead Revolver was good too. So this has to be epic. I've got so much pre-juice built up. I'm ready to bust. Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry. I just really loved Red Dead so much. Top three fucking favorite games of all time. I just can't wait anymore. Call of Duty released, uh, I guess, a trailer for their battle royale mode, and uh, meh. I was over fucking battle royale when PUBG came out. It's fucking stale. But. I have seen some videos of an interesting take on the battle royale genre. So there's this game called Last Tide. What makes this different is that you get shot out of a battleship into the open ocean and all you have is scuba gear. This is all underwater combat. 
the game is rendered beautifully and the fact that it's underwater is actually pretty cool. All the weapons are some variant of a harpoon gun or other marine weaponry. I really don't know much about the aquatic life, but I mean, harpoons are basically fucking spear guns. You can also shoot flares that uh, tag other players and they uh, they come out, uh, I guess, targeted. So even if they're hiding, you can see them. And the, there's also chum nades. And if you hit somebody or they're in the proximity of your chum grenade, fucking sharks come after you. <laughs> uh, also, in Battle Royale games, uh, there's an impending closing circle, so eventually the big map gets smaller and smaller. And usually it's a fucking electrical storm, or in Fortnite, it's uh, just the storm. Or it's fucking poisonous gas or whatever fucking... Whatever. So in this one, the impending closing circle is called a shark shield. And if you didn't guess, if you get caught outside of said border, you slowly take damage as all other battle royales. But there's also the fact that sharks can come and fucking gobble that ass up. Like the chicken dinner you're trying to win in other games. That's fucking insane! It's a great spin on a already boring genre. Another game I've been kind of waiting on, but more and more time goes by and it just looks like another Destiny. And by that I don't mean a one-for-one -one clone, but like a shit show of a game upon release. And that game is Anthem. Hopefully they can fix it a lot more since it's still got maybe uh, another year before it's actually released. They don't have a set date and it's beyond the 2019 scale. It's uh, being developed by Bioware and hopefully the disaster that there was their last Mass Effect and how buggy that shit was will push them to make this game amazing as they showed it off at E3 last year. It looked great. But, I mean, only time will tell. And uh, some Switch news, a little more lighthearted news. Nintendo leaked the name of their new Yoshi game. And if it's true, the name that was leaked will be Yoshi's Crafted World. I don't really know what to expect from that, but I enjoyed the newest Super Mario game. It was different. Kind of reminiscent of uh, Mario 64, but with updated stuff. Origin Rare. Before I continue, I just wanted to give my boy uh, Josh a shout out. All the way out there in Japan. I miss those big titties. Come back to me, baby. I need them. I need them. So, uh, DJ Khaled is uh, being a hyper beast and getting ahead of the curve. <clears throat> He's got a new sick line out. No, not shoes. Not clothes. Not a restaurant. That's just played out, kid. Nah, he's on to bigger and better things. Uh, home furnishing. Any chunk can sling junk clothes. Look at Kanye. Anyway, thinking about it, I wanna initially hate on the dumbass, but that's actually a smart move. For all the reasons, furniture. Fucking no one is in that game. It's an untapped market. Hype furniture. If you can tell, it's got his signature all over it. The brand is called We The Best Home. <laughs> Can't make that up. 
It's actually a smart play. No one I know is sitting in chairs. I don't need no bitch ass chair, Holmes. <laughs> Good on him if it plays out. It's actually pretty smart. So in uh, local news, I'm not gonna say where exactly to preserve my privacy, but some dumb bastard is on the run from local authorities for stealing three packs of beef and an 18 pack of beers. He placed said items into his shopping cart and left through an emergency exit. They have a clear picture of this fucktard and the vehicle he left in. The total amount of stolen merchandise was valued at a whopping 112 dollars. <laughs> this fucking guy. Ooh, I found a Jane for this John. Also locally, a manager of a pawn shop was accused and caught stealing inventory. This bitch was a lot more of a badass than Taco Man. <laughs> she had been found to be doing this all over a six month span. She stole almost $9,000 worth of jewelry and pawning it to other pawn shops. What a cunt. <laughs> a stupid cunt, but a cunt nonetheless. No offense. Wait, yes, fuck that, full offense. <sighs> so, and I guess more topical news, people are kind of flipping shit against Nike because they hired Colin Kaepernick He's the new face of the 30th anniversary of the Just Do It campaign. And already idiots are calling for boycotts. They are burning the shoes and the shit they already paid for. Did I mention they were idiots? Oh, cause I mean, it big time. As much as I could give a fuck, they can do whatever the fuck they want. They will eventually have a homosexual athlete a transgender athlete? Fuck, even a non-binary athlete. Probably even a fucking potato. Who the fuck are you to make any difference? Everybody knows Jordans are too fly not to buy. They won't make a dent. <laughs> Get over it. All this attention is doing them better. No such thing as bad press nowadays. Uh, well, unless you get accused of being a fucking perv. So, South Carolina is in the spotlight again, but this time not for scientific discoveries. A South Carolinian man died after his wife poisoned his drinks with eye drops. The bitch was charged with unlawful malicious tampering of food, which I didn't even know was a thing. You should know that too, Bill Cosby. He died from a poisonous level of tetrahydrozoline. 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 A key ingredient to over the counter eye drops. Guess the guilt got to her. She admitted to police she did it over the course of three days. Tetrahydrosaline poisoning induces said symptoms. Coma. Stopping your breathing. Blurred vision and not limited or excluded to seizures. This key, this key ingredient is used to stop redness in the eyes. Looks like she was seeing red. <laughs> Am I right? Now all she sees is orange is the new black in her orange jumpsuit. Oh, <laughs> wow, those were bad. Uh, I'm going to go shoot myself. Richard Murray.
moving on to my new segment called Random Slop Talk. It's that time of year, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm not talking about hurricane season. I'm talking about good old American football. Many of you may not be a, a big fan or even care for that matter, but there's nothing better than to watch genetic freaks bash each other for money. I love it. And the opening game to the season just happened. And it was the Super Bowl champs, Philadelphia Eagles, against the Dirty Birds, Atlanta Falcons. And as much as I miss football, I watched the entire first half of this high scoring affair. And at halftime, there had been a total of three field goals adding up for a whopping combined total nine fucking points. Mind you, this is spread between two teams. Holy fuck, what a shit show. Both teams couldn't score for shit. And all that money that they got paid, they limp dick it. The first half was fucking atrocious. I gave it a chance, but by the third quarter, they still had fuck all for points. So I changed the town. And the channel I meant, I'm in the channel. Fuck you. I do drink when I do this, so I'm sorry. And I watched reruns of South Park instead. I uh, recorded the 13th season premiere of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And if you don't know, Dennis announced he was leaving in the last season. Uh, This was probably due to the fact that the actor who plays Dennis, uh, Glenn Howerton, got a lead role on his own TV series, AP Bio, on Fox. The episode started off with someone replacing Dennis, and it's a bitch I despise. Fucking Mindy Kaling has done several episodes of her boring, unfunny-ass TV show, The Mindy Project. So... Basically, she's taking control of the gang and the bar in place of Dennis. But fucking every time this bitch is in a scene, she makes the momentum that the crazy fucks that is Mac, Charlie, and Dee come to a screeching halt. As the episode moves on, I was becoming more and more infuriated and coming to the realization that one of the funniest TV shows that has ever been on the air is finally going to have a bad season. But by the last two minutes of the show, the statuesque god of a man returns to save the day. Fucking pulling the carpet out from underneath me. And all was good in the universe again. Fucking A. Nice shit, guys. They totally played me. They did us the dirty with the teasers, making it seem that Dennis was not going to be in this season at all. Even if he's there for only portions of it, it's him. Been in a, get the dicks out of my mouth infinitely better than that cunt Mindy. I went to bed with a smile on my butthole and it was glorious. All that negativity washed away. But the implications. He's a zombie! <laughs> And no, I'm not talking about my boy Breezy Too Easy Too So Cheesy, but the singer of the Cranberries, sadly, has passed on. Bitch was found to have drowned in a bathtub. She was shit-faced off booze and fun pills, and I guess forgot how to swim. In a bathtub. How the fuck? (laughs) Toxicology reports that she was four times the legal driving limit. They also found therapeutic amounts of prescription medication. Whatever the fuck that means. They ruled out foul play and suicide, so the bitch just had too much, much, man. man. Too Too much, much, too much. much. And yeah, I just want to apologize for the difference in my voice, but I had to continue recording this the next day. I got a little too fucked up. That's the only problem 
when I'm recording by myself. I don't I don't know how to pace myself. I get ahead of myself and then I I, I want to go swimming in a bathtub. <laughs> That's not funny. You know, this week started off kind of slow, but fuck, did it snowball by the end of the week. So I actually had more to talk about this time than the others. If this keeps up, I might be able to do this all by my lonesome. Fuck your body. I think this is a good place to leave it. So today, I took my son to Peter Piper Pizza. It's a pizza joint that has video games and a play area to entertain. It's a popular staple for birthday parties. Well, anyway, after we were done collecting tickets from said games, you can trade these tickets in for a big prize or small, small prizes, depending on your ticket count. Fair enough. The employee that was helping my son get his prizes pulled a total fat bitch jack move. <laughs> so now they have the option to get a little fun size or single serve candy. Back in my day, it was just janky ass toys, but whatever. So my son picks Starburst. Not a not a not a not a And uh, the employee. While he handed my son the three two-packs that he chose, he palmed a couple of more, and upon getting up from behind the counter, he slipped them into his pant pockets real slick-like. Or so he thought. As this happens, I almost thought out loud, really? You fat fuck? You're stealing candies? From kids? For shame. For, For shame! shame. <laughs> I thought it was funny, so I just wanted to bring it up. Yeah, so that brings me to the end of the show. I just want to thank you guys for listening. Uh, continue to listen. Uh, if you can do me the favor of uh, sharing the link on your social media, because I don't have any. And um, I just want to celebrate. Um, fucking butt fuckery. <laughs> butt fuckery. Fuckery just is a funny word. <clears throat> Um, yeah, as I was saying, I want to just, uh, let you guys know that I appreciate you for listening and giving me the feedback that you've been giving me, uh, keep it up. If there's something that you like or do not like, like a not a spot, go ahead and let me know so I can ignore it. <laughs> um, yeah, so go ahead and, uh, download the Podbean app for easy listening, uh, it automatically alerts you when I upload a new episode so that I don't have to text your stupid ass. Or let's just go ahead and say uh, you can also go to the website hangingheavy.podbean.com or you can also find me on YouTube. Just go to the search, type Hanging Heavy Podcast, and boom, bada bing, bada boom. Chicken good. Uh, rich and rare and uh, live long and prosper. Thank you.